वेलकम बैक प्रोग्रामर स्पाइड इज बैक विद वन अनदर वीडियो इन प्रीवियस वीडियो वी हैव सीन अबाउट अ मूवी रिकमेंडेशन सिस्टम यूजिंग स्ट्रीमलेट नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट अ स्मार्ट रिज्यूमे एनालाइजर यस दिस प्रोजेक्ट वाज अबाउट माय सेवेंथ सेमेस्टर प्रोजेक्ट एंड नाउ आफ्टर द एंड ऑफ ऑल द सेमेस्टर एंड फॉर्मेलिटीज दैट आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन दिस प्रोजेक्ट एंड रिवील द कोड इन टू माई गिट अप सो डोंट वरी गाइज यू विल फाइंड द कोड लिंक इन टू द गिट अप सेक्शन सॉरी इन डिस्क्रिप्शन ओके so now what is this project is about so this project is about a smart resume analyzer guys if you are totally new to my uh, youtube channel then just visit the playlist section you will find a lots of videos regarding python machine learning open cv image processing nlp there are lots of things available into my channel so you can just have a look if you like then subscribe our machine learning hub youtube channel okay so now let's talk about uh, this project this project is about smart resume analyzer so what is resume analyzer so if you have obviously if you are uh, if you are, like have you, have you sent any resume to any companies right so basically what companies are currently doing they are using uh, some softwares resume screening software basically this uh, uh, around 5 or 10 years back what they were doing is like uh, getting the 1000 resume read each and every person resume by one by one it is time consuming process right so nowadays this hacker rank hacker earth or there are many companies that are providing a resume screening softwares so basically they will take a 1000 resume now that software will analyze the best resume of the candidate but now uh, just the question is how they can analyze the best resume the answer is nlp natural language processing what our resume is containing con containing our resume is containing some text some words on based on that words uh, that smart screening software will consider the best resume from that 1000 resume right so basically they will shortlist 100 200 the best candidates right and based on resume so nowadays you like lots of people telling yeah your resume resume should be in proper manner yes that's the truth because no one is going to see your resume right they will use the screening software right okay so now let's see how it is going to work okay so i'm just i have downloaded some of the sample resume because i am not going to include my resume or uh, during that uh, making of this project i have tried my friend's resume and it is working fine on almost each and every resume but here now i'm not going to use any of my friends or my resume also because my almost each and every resume have every contact details and all that i don't want to reveal in any video so that currently i'm using uh, down, uh, downloaded uh, like sample resume from the internet okay so now basically this uh, software is supporting only uh, currently it is supporting only for the in uh, it people like uh, what it will give you just let me upload any resume first <coughs> now what it will do it will show you the resume first just understand as a user you are user you are uploading your re uh, resume right okay so now there are some minor bugs here also like uh, so in most of the format it is working fine it will show you your name but this is a sample resume and you can see the this one is looking like a name and the, so this is a bit confusing here so uh, that i will explain all the things in later but just assume that this is this will show you a name like if your name is kushal and you are uploading kushal resume it will show you hello kushal and the same thing it will show you here like hello like name email address phone number also it is supporting the phone number also that you have included in your resume now based on our nlp analysis uh, it is saying you are intermediate level now skills recommendation like then it will find the skills that you have right the user have which kind of the skill so our uh, our uh, library that is uh, already that i have included in project don't worry i will tell you in everything later so this will automatically fetch this uh, skill set from the this resume right right and that you can see skills that you have so basically it is the extracted skill from the resume right now you can see in our uh, like our uh, analysis say you are looking for an android app development jobs but how the android app uh, means how they are got like this prediction don't worry i will tell it in each and everything later now skill recommendation if you are uh, going to the android uh, field then there is a, this is this is a recommendation like android android development flutter kotlin uh, xml java kiwi git git gtz like everywhere sdk sqlite so these all are the recommended skills 
that is required by the Android app developer, right? Now courses recommendation. This is the amazing thing. Like it will show you around ten courses. You can see if I'm going to click on this, you can see associate Android developer course flutter android basic by google now resume tips and trick like awesome you had an objective according to our recommendation please add declaration if so basically it is scanning all the things related to our resume awesome you added hobbies according to our recommendation please add achievements according to recommendation please add a projects so it will automatically uh, find us uh, some of the resume pattern so if you don't know what is resume pattern like then your resume should have the declaration hobbies achievements projects if it is not available in your project then it will automatically lower down your score you can see your resume writing score is 40. now no you can see not this based on your content that you have ignore it just this is a simple warning message that i have printed now bonus video it will show you the bonus video also like resume tips for jobs and this is the title of the video and then i just embed one video here regarding the resume writing tips now the second video is about bonus video for interview tips so this is the second video uh, this is all um, also embedded into my system here so this is a simple smart resume analyzer software it will analyze all whole resume and it, it is f working fine on almost each and every format that i have you know gathered my lots of friends resume and almost it is working fine on each and every resume right so this is like a little bit a different project than other because in other projects we are getting a hundred percent we are expecting a 90 percent 95 percent 100 percent accuracy but this project is about to like you can see you can do a little bit research even you can improve this project rather than my version because i have done some minor changes here right minor changes means i have done so many things here like but you can improve the this version also right i am going to, going to give this code so you can improve it and you can just update me uh, that code into my github also you can just give a pull request if any update is then my code right so how this all are thing working this is the actually we need to understand step by step right the, the here just i have show you the like how it is working now let's see how it is working so before starting the project what i have done is i have just divided the things into the modules that always i am like making like divide and conquer if you know merge sort then obviously you will know this term divide and conquer so basically i am dividing my task and at the end i'm get i will gather all the things when my project is ready at any moment right so first of all task is what <coughs> i need to get the resume from the user so you, you can use any uh framework like you can use django flask or streamlit so I just I want to be a pro at Streamlit. So this is my color project. So that's why I chosen Streamlit, right? So I am I'm using the, this Streamlit framework. So it is a bit easy to get a resume from the user. Now second task is what? Save the resume into system. Third task is what? Currently my system is supporting the only PDF resume, right? Obviously your resume should have in PDF now that this is most important task pdf extracting so after that pdf extracting now what i need to do resume parsing because i need to analyze all each and everything now define skills like this uh this uh, project is uh, means uh, going to give you the like four four or five recommendation like it will give you the data science android ui ux and web development jobs kind of the recommendation because i just given some of the limited things here Bas basically all the things are running running with the nlp right it might be confusing at this moment but end of the video you will get a 100 100 percent idea that how this project is working now uh, define courses and videos i don't know why i'm making too much spelling mistake today uh, the reason is that i'm currently in windows and now windows is looking a bit weird because i'm used to with the ubuntu but uh, because this project was located in my windows so i just need to come to put into this windows yeah, currently actually i'm doing a uh, job and the, the company is required to have the ubuntu into laptop okay 
so now the uh, now implement each and every step one by one so basically that i am going to explain this code full okay so now some of the things that i am going to use which is streamlet pandas b64 time now this is the most amazing thing which is pi res parser and now resume a parser so what i have done is i just uh, install one library called pi parser pi resume parser you can say like this now if you are going to search with this so this is the amazing library so now uh, actually at the first half i think that i can create a resume parser code by myself right but after that, so many try and errors i did not get that that much of the accuracy so i use this ready made library which is called pi res parser simple resume parser used for extracting information so basically this will automatically give you the uh, name extra email mobile numbers uh, skills total experience college name degree designation all the things that it will give you right installation is just like pip install and this library name but before that you should have the download all the things like nl pol nlp operation you should have this pc and analytic library installed right now how to pass the data basically you just need to pass the your pdf file here and now it will give you the result like this college name company name degree so this is these all are the keys for the dictionary email mobile number so guys uh, before starting with any library you just need to read the documentation because this documentation is very helpful and that with this documentation i have created my project right right so that's how this pi resume parser is working now but uh, okay so i have just uh, parsed the resume right but now there are so many things that we need to implement here now i need to extract the text from the resume basically this pi parcel will help me to get the uh, data right but how i should get the text from the resume so this is the second question so basically one library called pdf miner pdf miner is very famous for extracting the pdf using python so this is the, the this is the library that i am using to uh, get the text from the user uploaded pdf now io and random and then streamlit text basically io random like inbuilt library that i'm using io to just uh, save the images which is uploaded by the user right then streamlit text that i will explain you later pl is always common library like python image library pi mysql yes i'm using database into this project so make sure uh, your apache and mysql is running now from courses basically courses.py that i have created i will explain it later PFE. PFE is also related to YouTube related tasks. So I will explain it later. Plotly. Plotly is for the admin module. Yes. This project have two modules. Let me show you. Normal user and admin. So I, I admin I will show you later. Okay. So this video is might be going to longer than expected. So guys forgive me. Okay. So now ignore all this function. This function is not uh, useful at this moment, but I will explain each and every function after that, right? Okay. So now, first of all, I need to connection, make a connection with my database. So by mysql dot connect, uh, host is localhost, my root user is root, password is nothing and DB. So make sure you should create a SRA DB into your project. Uh, that is already I have created. Let me show you. So you can see this is the SRA. So SRA database is already created, right? Now, okay. Now ST dot page title config. So basically, this is the page title config. Like my project name is what uh, Smart Resume Analyzer. So you can see this is the title here on left panel, like Smart Resume Analyzer. And icon is that I have already defined in SRA logo dot So you can see this is the icon. So basically, I'm config the my website. Now, def run st dot title. First of all, I need to have this title in between. Smart resume analyzer. Activities is like two users available here: normal user, admin. But make sure choice is located into sidebar. So st dot sidebar dot select box. Choose uh, among the given option. So already this message is printed here. Now image dot open basically 
in uh, this part i should have the uh, logo of my project okay okay sorry just i got a in uh, call in between video recording okay so now this is the that logo that i am uh, just displaying here now i should have one image uploader okay so i just i am uh, first of all i am just uh, showing the logo okay now uh, creating the database so basically i i just estimate that you guys are all aware with the basic sql queries like create database if not exist then sra will be the our database name right so it will create a database of sra uh, you can see here okay so database is already created now it will create a one table which is called user underscore data so this is basically this when you are going to upload the resume and then what it will do it will save the it will automatically save the all the basic information of the user so basically we can create analysis of it so this is the create table query like create table if it is not exit time name is user data that data that i am taking is id name email id resume score timestamp page number i mean page number means how many pages of resume it is <coughs> predicted field like recommendation that is given by our uh, system user level it is pressure experience or what actual skill uh, the skills that is already have by the user recommended skill that is generated by our system recommended course that is our generated by system now primary key is id right now if choice is equal to normal user like uh, if i am cho choosing this as a normal user then i should get a uh, one file uploader that is already defined here like pdf file st dot file uploader choose your resume and type only allowed is pdf okay now if i am uploading pdf like if pdf file is not none so user is uploading any pdf then what aut automatically what it will do i just need to have one folder or uh, fol uh, folder upload resume so basically with open f dot write pdf file dot get buffer so basically i am saving the user uploaded pdf file here right so basically with this if user is uploading any pdf file that so that file will be saved here into this uploaded resume folder now show pdf and i'm giving the path of the full pdf right so now what is this show pdf let's see so this is the one function so basically the what this function will do you can see with open file but basically you should aware with the basic file operation so rb read in binary now base 64 pdf like base 64 that's why i have imported base 64 dot b64 encode and then f dot red decode utf8 okay so now what i'm doing show pdf means what let me show you i'm just showing the user uploaded pdf into iframe tag right and now iframe is display here in st dot markdown and allow unsafe html is equal to true so it, what it will do it will get the uploaded pdf from the path that is uploaded by into this uploaded resume now this same pdf if which is uploaded by the user will be display here you can see this is the iframe tag and the pdf is displaying here yes if user is uploading the pdf then pdf should be displayed to the user right so that's why this pdf is only uh, you can see you can you can zoom out zoom in so this is uh, ready made like iframe okay so this is the show pdf function so that's why now that, that's why i like to work uh, create uh work like to create a uh, small function because your work will be easier right now this show pdf in one line the function is already taking three to four line but here i don't want to miss my main code so that's why i just created a function that function is required path of the pdf file now resume a parser right now resume parser should what what is it actually required it's required the path of the pdf file so basically i have stored pdf path in this save image path and get extracted data basically this method that we have already seen here okay get extracted data so basically i just use 
this documentation to complete my code now i get a resume data now th this will be you know my resume data will be same like this like there will be one list into one list there is dictionary and these all are the keys okay okay so now this pi uh, pi resume person is working fine but what some of the point uh, might be uh, call it them maybe you will not get a proper because these all are the nlp things that you cannot expect a 100 percent accuracy so i am interested in not whole thing like i'm not inter interested in user call it name degree i'm just interested in some of the things like email mobile number name number of pages and skills i'm interested in this thing only so i will fetch this thing from the resume parser data now this resume parser data will be stored into this resume data right so i'm just giving a condition if resume data is not empty like if resume data is not none right so what i need to do i need to do once again i need to get the pdf text now why i am requiring the pdf text i just got all this information from here but i am getting the limited amount of the information from here but i need to play with the some more nlp techniques so i should have the full content of the user speed uh, resume like each and every word that is containing uh, by the P uh, pdf or you can say resume right so that's why i'm just using this pdf reader function here and that pdf reader function uh, will be return me a text resume basically it will give you the plain text of the resume each and every word that is containing by the resume and now this pdf function is required the original path of the resume now let's see what this pdf is pdf reader is containing and now the pdf reader is once again the function so i'm using pi pdf minor so resource manager is equal to pdf resource manager that we need to allocate first uh, first now i need to get the string io right now converter basically this uh, this code is also given by the pi pdf reader documentation so just i request you to read the documentation now basically this will convert your pdf into text format all the things are defined here right now what it actually do it is iterating to the each and every pdf pages and it is giving me a text of the pdf any pdf not like resume it will return each and everything now my text will be stored in this text variable now now i'm just closing all the things like converter fact file and error close and i should get a return text so if user is uploading any resume then i will get a basic information of the user using this library called resume pi parser and now i will get a full text resume now it's time for the good looking ui okay so i am just uh, i just done till here so you can if you are going to the task you can see first task is completed second task is completed third and fourth task is completed okay now what now what we just need to define the some of the good things here like st dot header resume analysis line then st dot success hello resume data name so now what this name resume data is dictionary that is returning from the from the resume pi parser right and this is name that is already predefined key if you are going to the documentation then you can see the name which is already defined key by the our pi parser resume now if it might be possible that each and every name will cannot be detected by this pi parser resume what we are doing we are just exception basically i don't want to show this error so just i'm using pass into exception so if it is like it is like uh, you can see if everything is fine then it should get st dot text like name like username email the email that is extracted by our uh, resume parser now the text and resume pages now why i am uh, get, like getting the resume pages okay so don't worry that i will tell you okay so you can see these two thing is printed here for this resume but might be possible other things are uh, like uh, not acceptable that means not readable also because this uh, resume is taken from the internet let's see for other resume so might be in, at this video recording time i am not uploading any of my friend resume otherwise it is working very fine on my friend resume even my resume also it is which is you know extracting each and everything like email id mobile number okay now you can see contact the, on this it is working fine 
resume pages is what is only one re page resume you can see and it is already extracted here resume pages i don't know which contact details it is extra extracted okay so there as i told earlier it might be wrong also so you can see contact details is wrong but email id is fine name is actually our detector which is detected by here so it is wrong here but might be you can consider there is a little bit error right still we got a good thing like good amount of the extracted things here now i'm just uh, giving the giving the candidate level as a simple like i'm not defining any value here now i just assuming that if resume data of number of pages is equal to one if you have one page of resume that you you can consider yourself as a fresher that might be case right i'm not saying like if you have one page resume it might be possible that you are not a fresher also but in this case that i am doing here like candidate level is equal to fresher if resume number of the page is equal to two then you are at like intermediate uh, level like you have one or two year of the experience right and if you are uh, like number of the pages is equal to greater than three then you are at experience level right if you have three page resume then obviously you have done so many things you have so many year of the experience so for the number of the pages that i am defining the st dot markdown like you are a fresher you are at intermediate level or you are at experience level so for that each and every different like color code is different so that's how that i am printing this message like you are looking fresher now skill recommendation so now what is this skill recommendation let me show you so first of all i just need to initialize the st tag so basically streamlit doesn't have this tag module inbuilt right so i just out that's why i downloaded this st tags from the uh you can see uh, that i have imported this st tags into import section okay so now st tag is like skills that you have basically it is giving the skills that is already have by the user now uh, how we can fetch the skills already our resume parser have extracted the skills and the, you can see the dictionary name is skills key name is skills you can see here and it is returning a one list of the skills okay so i just need to pass this value as a skill and key is equal to 1 it should be unique key okay because it might be have multiple st tags so key should be one unique for each and every one st tags okay so now now i just got the user skill here you can see this is also uh, extracted from the resume and skills are uh, showing here right now our recommendation time so some of the things some of the recommendation things that i have already generated generated okay let me explain okay as i told earlier this resume analysis is like is working for the it resume so it is capturing the keywords like data science keyword web keyword web and technology android keyword ios keyword and ui ux keyword you can improve it into more depth okay so what is this ds keyword tensorflow keras pytorch so basically that Uh, what i have done is i just google it uh, so many things about like what is this web technologies included what is this android key uh, android technologies included and i have made one list of the keywords now why i am doing this let me explain this is the very tricky part but it is very easy to understand now if i am going to show this thing only to my like any person like this is fine like that i am extracting the basic information from the resume but that that is not a meaningful or that is not you can say useful now i should have the my own module here like what my own nlp techniques so what i need to do is i need to fetch the keyword right if you are going to see my resume then how you can judge me like what is my working field if i am including all these keywords like if my resume has the keyword like uh, uh you can say uh tensor flow keras pytorch machine learning deep learning all these keywords is if it is these keywords are present into my resume then i am working with the data science if i have the keyword of the react django node js react js flask angular js it might be possible that i am working with the web technology for the android you can see android android development flutter kotlin xml key if this keyword is found in your resume it might be possible that you are working with android keyword you can uh, you know you can create a more better number of the keywords and you can append into this list okay 
but this is a this is also working fine that i have already tested uh, this uh, system onto like my web developer is uh, like web developer friend resume for that it is working fine even that i have also ui UX designer friend on that re on that resume it is working fine it is uh, predicting the same that you are interested in ui ux job now this is like we are finding the per particular keyword from the user text that we have already extracted from the pdf miner now recommended skills now it's time to recommend the skill to the user you can see skill recommendation here okay that i need to print this line also okay so this all things that i will you know they do it later yeah, but before that i need to fetch the all the things regarding the user and now recommended skill that i have created empty list recognize between field and reco course this both field is currently this both value is currently nothing like empty string now i need to iterate the loop like i need to match the skill but how so we have just assumed that original skill and we have this keyword so basically what i am doing is i am just iterating the, with this loop for i and resume data of skill that is already skills that is you know that is already have by that person now if i dot lower lower that is you know that will return a lower case keyword and ds keyword now just assume that if user this user have the ui ux development skill you can see this all are related to you add up indies and css wordpress right so you can see this guy is currently working job into ui ux you can assume that right so what it will do it will loop through each and everything right if any keyword of this is matching with this ui ux keyword then automatically it will show you the regarding the ui ux right so let me just go through the ui ux here you can see ui ux recommendation like you can see it will print the here so you can see print is already here like prototyping obviously prototyping skill is already uh, means have by the ui ux developer now what is my recommended field so if this happening this is a simple if if this is happening then my recommended field should be ux development now you should get a message as our analysis say you are looking for the ux development jobs now i have already created one list <laughs> recommended skill that i can recommend to the user like you can see now recommended skills are ui user experience adobe xd prototyping wireframe story like this all the skill that i already google illustrator after effects you can see there are so many skills available that we can recommend to the user recommended skill for you okay so basically based on this skill we are recommended this skill so that's how i think you got this is very simple concept now let's see for the same for the data science if i'm if you i'm uploading any uh user resume any user should have the similar words like tensorflow keras then it will automatically fall into this if and the recommended field will be data science or analysis say you are looking for data science job any uh recommended skill will be like data visualization pretty analysis uh, so many skills that have already printed here now this is the course recommender i think you guys uh, got i don't need to explain like when dot keyword web development keyword working is working is same for each and everything okay so it is uh, working for the four fields okay it is five now course recommendation you can see after that it is showing me the course recommendation okay so now this course recommendation is required what this web course okay i will a uh, web course is basically is the kind of the list okay let me show you ds course web course here you can see in parameters so what i have done is first let me show you the course recommender so basically this course recommender will function will create a one thing like course recommender course and certificate recommendation <coughs> it will count the number recommended course list it will be empty now st dot slider i am getting a 1 to 10 slider value from the user like how many courses recommendation you want like 1 2 3 4 5 based on that what i am doing for c name and c link so basically this course list will be dictionary now what is this course list so course list will be given by the user okay now this counter will be increased and st dot markdown 
course name and course link will be generated and recommended course will be you know appended into the this list which is a recommended course if c is equal to number of the responses like c is the counter and number of the uh, recommendation that is de defined by user so if uh, if user want five any five courses already shown then counter will be five is equal to five then loop will be break and it will give you the recommended course right so i am returning this recommended course because i want to store all this thing into the database so that's why i am returning the recommended courses okay so now this how this course list is coming okay so let me show you the this thing once again so this course list is coming from this ds course so what i have done is very it is very statically type you can see there is one file dot courses dot pi ds course web course i have defined some of the predefined courses like android course ios course uix course now this you know this course is containing two things list into list like first member is about to course name second member is about to course link so this is the topmost course that i have taken from the google that i am already showing to the user right so that's why i have defined these two thing into for loop if it might be possible that you get amazed like what i am unpacking two values into one list so basically it is returning these two thing course name and course link okay the same for that i have already defined in the some of the videos okay so that thing that i will explain in later okay so my course recommendation is also done here okay so let me just uh, guide through the, this now resume tips and ideas okay so before the, uh, starting all these things just i'm inserting all this thing into the table like current timestamp when the user is uploading this resume okay now resume writing recommendation now i just given the courses and recommendation now some of the things that might be present in resume or not so what is this is once again very simple resume text i got the resume text from the pdf miner basically that from that function that i am returning the resume text now if there is a simple thing you are getting 1000 bond but obviously you can find like if objective is not present into resume text then obviously you should uh, get the user should get message right so i'm just defining the condition if objective is in resume text then resume score will be plus 20 now resume score that i have initialized zero now st dot markdown user should get message like awesome you added objective if our code means uh objective word that found into user uploaded resume then automatically score will be increased by 20 otherwise score will be not increased like you should get a message like this according to our recommendation please add career object this message should be the same for the declaration declaration should be present into resume text so now you you can think of like this if objective is and declaration will be present into small letter okay like first letter is small but it is not possible and the reason is that if you are creating any resume this is this thing this word call as a section and section name always first letter of the capital in most of the resume the so same thing for the hobbies and or interest so now just think of it in some of the resume it might be possible that hobbies or interest maybe two key different keywords and that i'm having these two keywords like i'm using these two keywords if achievements is not present in resume the same thing i'm increasing the score if it is present otherwise it is like it will not increase the score the same for the project if projects were into my list then automatically it will increase the score and give you yes congratulations you added projects otherwise it will show like this according to our recommendation please add the projects now score now i need to pass the resume score to the user like st.subheader uh, resume score here you can see after that your writing score like resume score so basically i'm initializing comp uh, progress bar score is equal to zero now four person complete in range resume score that resume score will be total like if my resume score is 40 50 60 it will iterate to this uh, range for loop obviously and then score will be increased by one and time dot slip so let me re refresh it one again once again i'm just showing i just want to show you the progress bar 
you know you can see this progress bar is increasing by step your resume score is 20 because this resume doesn't have anything like uh, obviously you can see only it is have hobbies so uh, 20 score is plus for that and just i'm printing this more warning this score is calculated based on the content that you have added in your resume okay so time dot slip basically that my interpreter will be slip for a fraction of second after each and every iteration okay so that's why it is you know very slowly slowly increasing otherwise you know it will give you the full loaded progress bar but i don't want i just want small amount of the animation here so that's why what i'm doing here okay now at the end we everything fine then it will show you the sum of the balloons that is already provided by the streamlet okay now at the end of all this thing i'm inserting all this data into the our um, database this insert data is function about to inserting the data it is generating you know insert query it is creating the tuple of all the things okay so the things that i'm including into database like name email that already have explained and cursor dot execute connection dot commit okay so most of 90 percent okay 80 percent project is going means explained by me now resume writing video and interview tips so the same thing here so i have already uh, created the uh, resume video okay fetch yt video okay bonus video for resume writing tips random dot choice so this is the resume videos that function already that, that list that i have already created into this courses dot by resume video interview videos okay so i have almost extracted around four for eight eight videos for the resume preparation and eight videos for the interview preparation now what i am doing is i am just picking picking up a random video like random dot choice now the choice video should be display here too so now i have created one function fetch youtube video now this fetch video youtube like it is nothing just it is require one link i'm using pefi to get the pefi.new so basically pefi will open the youtube video and it aut automatically it will fetch the title for you like what is the video title okay so i just need to get the video title for the you know uh, video now st dot sub header then like and then i just need to print the video title that i just got from this function you can see how to write a resume a software engineer resume tips for fresher and experience and you can see the title is same here also so that's why i ext uh, extracted the title from the video link okay now st dot video basically this is the inbuilt model of the you know displaying the youtube video like embedding youtube video into a web page so nothing to do with just you need to pass the link of the video that is already random generated so i'm displaying two video resume writing tips and interview preparation and at the end i'm making the connection dot commit because i'm using database now if anything red one it will give you the warning st dot error something went wrong and now my code is around 300 line now user side is completed now admin side okay now admin side is what uh it is you know asking for the user id password so spy spy d20 is id kushal123 is the password so same thing same thing here now i should get uh analysis of admin side like okay let me show you you know it is the most interesting thing that it will show you the some of the visualization if st dot button dot login right if is admin is pressing any login button here and if user password and this thing are match don't, don't mind guys that uh, for that particular thing that i'm not going to create database it is statically that have already given so you can see you will like welcome kushal users to data data that is already extracted by our database so when you are uploading any resume you can see this thing will be stored into my database table right here in this table now what what i need to do with this data okay so uh, that uh, this is the data that i'm storing like recommended skill recommended course name actual skill user level predicted field total number of page resume time of uploading resume score email even i can download this report also if i'm going to download this report then you know uh, it will be have into the csv but i'm not going to open okay i think i just got error because i just closed unexpectedly 
now pie charts for the predictor field recommendation now i'm just defining the some of the things like re regarding the pie chart so most of the resume are based as a data science means my system have most of the re recommended values data science because that i'm uploading many data science resume into the system now some of the ios some of the recommendation as two like value two then ui ux and most of their web development now experience level like in my system if i have 1000 resume uploaded into the system then i should get knowledge like how many people how many percent of experience and how many percent of the fresher you can see like intermediate is 23 and fresher is only 16 and this, this is the end of the this our admin panel even i can display more graphs here but uh, okay just i need to close this excel warnings okay i don't know after the you know using this windows so many time it is very difficult okay so that i'm just showing you how you can display these things now i need to get the uh, you know data from the database so there is one thing like cursor.execute you know this query select star from the user data and this data means will fetch the this fetch all function will fetch the all the data it will give you the list now i just need to create data frame and data frame should have the uh, like column name right now i just need to uh, display the data from so there is streamlit st do data frame will display this uh, beautiful table here you can see this is the table right now admin th 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 this thing is already uh, you know the admin said data data are already displayed here right now the thing is that how i can display the recommendation chart so first of all from the plot data what is this plot data it is like select star from the user data uh, once again i am loading this query and i am storing into the plot data variable now plot data dot predictor field dot unique so i'm just what i'm doing i'm getting the unique labels that is already like data science job or android app web app development job now what i'm doing i'm just getting the value counts value counts what it will return like data science job have 16 values like 16 recommendation uh, web app have the five recommendation it, uh ui have six recommendation and now i'm just pipe making a pie chart px dot pi i'm not using matplotlib i'm using the plotly express okay so plotly will give you the beautiful you know visualization and just i'm making the plotly chart here uh, passing the values labels and the uh, title like predictor field according to the skill and the same for the pie chart the pie chart like uh, once again i'm making the this pie chart and i'm passing the user level user level is like experience or not experience intermediate and the things are at the end this time making chart once again if anything gets wrong it will show you the wrong id password provided okay so almost i have explained uh, 360 line of each and everything and i think i have explained all the function okay now i have already mistakenly you know forget this function download report so basically just what i am doing is this function is required treating like data frame file name and text text means you just want to download it means this uh, download report like text name of this link okay so csv df to csv index is equal to false but before that i should get like base 64 be in code so basically what it will do it will encode the data frame data and you know it will show you the means it will generate the download link of it okay and it will return the href href means what this link so, so basically in this function i just need to pass the data frame file name and text you can see here you can see st.markdown get download link data frame user data dot csv in my files name you can see user data dot csv download report allowance of html is equal to true and my report is downloaded okay so i think i have explained each and every line regarding the project you can see insert data function is nothing just inserting the data course recommender is that i have explained show pdf pdf reader okay so all the things that i have explained and i don't Thing, but this video is around 49 minutes longer and i think i just need to uh, get one hour for this rendering the video so guys uh, that i have already explained the full thing if you did not get anything or if you are having any doubt with this video you can just comment down below code that i will share with 
to you guys okay so don't worry about the code but guys don't make the full copy paste of that code if you if you are understanding each and everything then you can make a copy paste right even if you want to add anything like anything here into this code just give the pull request into the github if it is appropriate then i will merge into it okay so guys thank you for the listening me and like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe the youtube channel of machine learning hub you know it will motivate me to create more content like this so guys see you in the next one and thank you for the listening me so guys thank you bye have a good day